Hello friends, students and followers. I am Adil Mahmood, artist and I am here to answer all your questions. Many of my students who are connected to me in my inbox, messenger and whatsapp, they had asked me a question. The question is very frequent. The question was, sir please make a video for beginners. What kind of material we should be using for a better drawing? So I am here. To, I am just going to make a video for them. First. If you are willing to be an artist, if you are willing to draw better, you have to find a sketchbook. The sketchbook size must be A3. And you have to use some pencils, blendable pencils. 4B, 6B, 8B, 7B, 9B, 12B pencils. The sketchbook size should be A3. After that, you have to work on that sketchbook for more than um, five months. When you will complete this duration, then I'll be suggesting you to work with watercolors. For watercolors, you have to buy good watercolors with a better brand, with a good, of, 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 a, of a good company watercolors. When you, you will have bought the watercolors, then I'll be suggesting you to use uh, round brushes. I'm just showing you the bright brushes on the screen. These are the brushes for watercolors. When you have to apply watercolors on the paper, the paper should be thick. Like A3 size, uh, sketchbooks paper is good for watercolors. And if you have uh, water paper, that is, that is absolutely perfect for watercolors. First, when you have um, watercolors and, the paint, wa and paint brush, you just apply the brushes. First you have to draw sketch on the paper, then you have to apply watercolors on that. After this, you have to work three months with this. After that, you have to um, throw your sketchbook in a bucket, <laughs> not in the bucket, but in the drawer somewhere in your room. You have to lock your, uh, your sketchbook. You don't need to use that sketchbook again. I'll be suggesting you to work on canvas now because uh, the canvas is good for, for, for oil paintings. Next, when you have worked with uh, watercolors and pencils, the next step is work with acrylic or oil paints. If I talk about acrylic and oil paints, the, the, the difference between both of them, the uh, acrylic colors are based with water and uh, oil paints are based, with, based on oil. If you have to use oil paints, you have to buy these tubes I'm going to show you on the screen. See these tubes. These are the oil paints tubes. You have to use them. And you have to get the color out of the tube just as you, a little bit, not much. As much you use a, a toothpaste on the brush, that much oil paint should be out of the tube on the palette. And then you have to mix linseed oil in the palette. You have to use linseed oil. When you mix linseed oil in oil paint, that will be a good com combination. But instead of linseed oil, you may use kerosene oil and petrol for that. Petrol, kerosene oil. I'll not suggest petrol because of the, the smell of the petrol. And the kerosene oil is better. But linseed, linseed oil is best. You have to make the, the paint thin because uh, the much the, the thicker the thicker paint will not be able to be will not be able to be applied on the on the canvas but you have to make the paint thin when the paint will be as thin as you need then you have to apply on that and uh, the brushes for the oil paints i'm showing you on the screen these brushes Actually, all type of brushes can be used for, for, for oil paints, but uh, these are special brushes. A another thing I'm going to tell you, if you want to mix oil paints, if you want to make colors with oil paints, you have to mix them with these knives. I'm showing you the knife. You have to hold this knife in your hand and you have to mix oil paints with that. Where, where you have to see, uh, is it okay? Is it fine, th thin or not? These are some uh, tips for you. Students, have a good time. Stay connected with me.